Here's a vintage film camera. Looks like it has seen its fair share of days. Let's see. Pop it open from here. Okay, that's messed up. Bloop. That works. And that doesn't. Cut, cut. How? Cut, cut. How? That works. That needs some grease. Boink, boink. Boink, boink. Something in there works. Let's get this thing open. Remove that frame from here. This thing doesn't want to let go. Unscrew the lens from here. And it comes right off. The aperture blades work smoothly. Rusty looking oil, but works. Unscrew those. There you go. Click clack. Something here works. Is this wire broken? No, I think it works as a spring. That works. Looks like this rascal sometimes pops off. As long as it's in the socket, it works. See? Came off again. Gotta fix that. Don't need that lighter. Let's cut a tiny spring. And squish it in there to hold the lever in place. Time to lube it up. Get it right in there. That's right. Unscrew the lens. Get it squeaky clean. All right, back to this wrinkled fellow. Water should make leather very obedient. Let's get it sponged up. There you go, now it's folded properly. Let it dry. Poopsha, poopsha, poopsha. Get all the excess dirt out. There, all dried up. Boink, boink. Nice. Let's put the lens back on. And the frame. All right, time to bring out the paint and brush. Do 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 do. This is me singing while I paint. Shut up. You're the one watching this with voice turned on. And then I use a permanent marker and just wipe it off quickly so that the fibers get colored but the leather is unaffected. And boom! Look at this bad boy. And now it actually works as well. Alright. I'm out!